If you're new to Jump Shot 2K24, you've come to the right video. Every single height and three point rating will be covered in this video. First jump shot you guys see is Base, Dyson Daniels with the release one Oscar Robinson and the release two Sadiq Bay. I went 45 55 bunding, but basically just put this to whatever your three point rating is. If you have a high three point rating, go with 100% Oscar Robinson. If you have lower three point rating, go with more Sadiq Bay. This jump shot here is very versatile and so, so good. You're able to green consistently both off the catch and off the dribble. It's a jump shot that's going to work for every single game mode. You can green from everywhere on the floor and it's very, very consistent. Also, something I love about this jump shot is that it does doesn't take a ton of practice and a ton of time to learn to use. Basically, just slap on the jump shot, maybe take a couple of warm up shots, and you should be good. You're gonna be greening absolutely everything. Probably my favorite part about the jump shot is the fact that it is so easy to time, and it became even easier once I learned the cue. I'm gonna give you guys in a second. But first, please subscribe to the channel. And second, make sure your release timing is on push. You can use these jump shots not on push, but if you guys want to use the same cue as me, you're gonna need to put this on push. Plus, your timing is gonna be a little bit different. If you guys don't know what the cue is, it's pretty much something that indicates you went to release square. So essentially, if you're using no meter, you kind of need a cue in order to time the jump shot correctly because there's nothing for you to look at. I know I said earlier in the video, you could change the bunding depending on your three-point rating. And something I love about those two releases is that even if you go with more Sadiq Bay or less Sadiq Bay or more Oscar Robertson, the Q remains the exact same. Basically, what you're going to want to do is look above your player's head and then wait till you guys see the ball get fully above your player's head. For example, right now I'm staring above my player's head and then boom, I see the ball and then I really square. If you square right there, it's going to be some time. Right, so another screen jump shot you guys can use is basically on the screen right now. You guys see it's base Jordan Dewara with release one Troy Brown Jr. release to Justin Holiday and then 62-38 for the bunding. This jump shot here is all around very very good and very very fast in my opinion is one of the best jump shots off the dribble in this game don't get me wrong off the catch it's still very very consistent especially if you're just a good shooter and you guys see right here i'm getting a bunch of catch and shoot shots in a row obviously it's not the same thing as a real game but you guys get my point this jump shot here is going to be great from everyone on the floor and you're going to be green very very consistently in comparison to the previous jump shot it's probably a little better off the dribble a little bit worse off the catch it's going to be a pretty similar speed and both jump shots are great from everyone on the floor one kind of key difference is that this jump shot's a lot better if you are on high delay so if you guys know your wi-fi is really bad or you're just always on high ping then make sure you guys use this jump shot here also another key difference is that the jump shot takes a little bit longer to learn to use at least for me i'm sure some of you guys will learn to use it very very quickly but for me it took a little bit of practice attempts but once i learned the timing i was green very very consistently just as consistently as the previous jump shot if you guys want to time the jump shot correctly basically stare at the ball and then wait till the ball hits your player's hair it's not actually going to hit your player in the face but just wait till the ball is as close to your player's hair as possible so you guys see right here it's basically touching my player's hair and then that's where i lose square but yeah with that being said let's move on all right, so I'm gonna give you guys one more swing jump shot. This is just for anyone with a really, really low three point rating. I'm pretty sure everyone, though, will be able to unlock one of the previous two jump shots. So just try one of those. All right, so next up for guard jump shots, you guys see the first one is going to be base Markel Fultz with release one Oscar Robertson and release two Trey Young and 80 20 for the bunding. Now, this jump shot here is so, so fast and really hard to guard because it's really hard to contest as well. Like, genuinely, they have to be playing on top of you at all times. It's just an absolutely deadly jump shot that's so good off the dribble. Like, there are some games where I'm just literally pulling from the hash every single possession with just like gold in this range that's how good this jump shot is from deep as well the jump shot is a very very smooth consistent and really good beginner jump shot that you can pick up and learn very very easily i used to think this jump shot more is like kind of like a medium to low three point rating jump shot that i never really plan to use on like my high three point rating builds but honestly the jump shot is so good i've been using on builds with like a 94 plus three point rating before as of right now this is the guard jump shot i've been using the most of whenever my wi-fi feels good on delay it can be a little bit tough but whenever i am on low delay i'm just greening absolutely everything and plus it's also so fast and so hard to contest like genuinely it's just such a good jump shot all around if it was better on delay it'd be literally the best jump shot in the game now if you guys want to time this jump shot correctly basically what you're going to want to do is stare at the ball and then wait till the ball gets all the way above your player's head so you guys see right here the ball is fully stacked above my player's head like there's literally a line going through my player's body in the ball right now that's basically where you really square and that's how you grant every single time our next jump shot is going to be the exact same jump shot but with bait steph curry as the jump shot and you guys see this jump shot here is definitely a high three-point rating jump shot which does not necessarily mean it's better in my opinion this bait steph curry jump shot is better in some ways and then also worse in some ways i'll explain why in a second but all around what you can expect from this jump shot is a jump shot that's very similar to the previous one also if you guys were wondering all these clips are from my john rant slash steph curry build video please check that build out it's so so fun in comparison to the previous jump shot it's going to be very very similar one difference is that i find this jump shot is a little bit easier to green when you are contested for some reason and it also is a little bit easier for you to green when you are tired these aren't like very drastic changes but it's just a little bit easier as well something else i noticed is that it's a little bit easier if you're on higher delay i'm honestly not sure why this is but that's just been my experience on the other hand though in my opinion the markel Fultz jump shot feels a little bit easier to get off at least when it comes to off the dribble like i feel like you get less weird animations if that makes sense now as far as which jump shot you should use it's really just up to you try both of them see which one you can green with more right now i like markel Fultz more but i can't necessarily say it's better than seth curry also if you guys want a low three point rate guard jump shot i'll put it on the screen right now i'd honestly be surprised if anyone needs to use this though all right now moving on to bigs you guys see first jump shot is going to be base jonathan isaac release one Giannis, release two franz wagner 95 and 
five for the one. This right here is, in my opinion, right now, the best big man jump shot in the game. At least just bot. This is, in my opinion, the best big man jump shot in the game right now. At least for the way I play. If you guys are watching the gameplay right now, you guys will see I don't really take that many corner threes. I know a lot of other big man builds just like kind of sit in the corner. And that's all they take. And so because I don't take a lot of shots from the corner, I can't say whether or not it's really that good from the corner. From the shots I have taken from the corner, it's just as good as up top. But all you corner sitters out there, try out this jump shot. Tell me how good it is. But in my opinion, though, when it comes to taking pick and pop shots and just shots off the dribble, nothing beats this jump shot. It's so fast. You don't get weird catch animations. You don't get weird pull up animations. It's hard to contest as well. It's very, very consistent. It was very easy for me to pick up and learn. And probably most importantly, it's at least somewhat fast, which is so, so important. Finding a big man jump shot that's fast is so, so important. Now, you guys see, I'm taking mostly shots off the dribble. The jump shot's still very, very good off the catch. I was just playing on the one going court for a video. So obviously, I had to take a lot of off dribble shots. Now, if you guys want to agree with the jump shot, the way you do it is honestly pretty simple. All you're going to want to do is stare at the ball and then wait till the ball hits your player's head and then don't really square yet. Just wait a split second and then release square when it starts going like even a little bit towards the basket. You guys see there's a very small gap between the ball and my player's head. This is where I aim to release square. And I find that when I aim to release square right here, I'm able to green it majority of the time. So basically, stare at the ball, wait till the ball hits your player's head and then wait till it goes a little bit towards the basket and then that's when you release square. And that's how you green it every single time. All right, for the next jump shot and the last jump shot of the video, this jump shot is going to be based on Andre Drummond with release one Giannis Antetokounmpo and release two Jaren Jackson Jr. With 40 60 for the blending. You guys can see the jump shot only requires a 67 three point rating, which is so, so low, especially because this might be one of the best big man jump shots in the game. At least for me, it took me a second to just learn how to time the jump shot correctly, especially because I've never used anything like the Andre Drummond base before. But don't get me wrong, it's still very, very smooth. It's very, very consistent. It's very easy to green. It's going to excel more so off the catch than it is off the dribble. But all around, the jump shot is just very smooth, very consistent, pretty easy to learn, and just great all around. I honestly love that 2K gave us this jump shot because it pretty much allows you to make builds with very low three-point ratings and still be able to agree with them very consistently and also even if you don't have a low three-point rating try out the jump shot it's so so good in comparison to the previous jump shot in my opinion the previous jump shot's a little bit better for beginners and also will be a little bit better off the dribble well this jump shot will be better off the catch and will require at least a little bit more practice also don't take shots with the jump shot if you are tired with the f timing stability it's really really slow some of you guys might be able to agree with it but i honestly just can't but the time jump shots normally it's pretty easy basically do the exact same thing as the previous jump shot wait till the ball hits your player's face you'll see it like pause for a second and then go towards the basket so once you guys see the ball go a little bit towards the basket like right here you see there's a little gap between my player's face and the ball this is just where i really square and this is how i green up every single time recommend me some jump shots down below i'm out